Yo! In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys these must use text effects that you can use in your videos. I'm sick of you guys having these boring texts, so I'm gonna help you guys with that. Let's get right into the video. But first, if you guys wanna support me, feel free to check out my pay hip link in bio, and let's get into the tutorial. All right, so first we're gonna click on this little horizontal type tool, and I'm gonna type text for the sake of the tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and cut our like subtitles, so just match everything, just cut whenever you guys say something. All right, once you guys have your subtitles already cut, and it looks like bland like this we're gonna want to select everything and we're gonna click on one of them press shift on the keyboard and click on the bottom text and we're gonna right click click pre-compose and move all attributes into the new composition and then click ok all right once it's pre-composed we're gonna use the effect called pixel motion blur and we're gonna go ahead and change the shutter angle to 250 and shutter samples to 30. we're gonna go ahead and click on the effect Control c to copy it and we're gonna go ahead and pre-compose it make sure you guys click on move all attributes into the new composition click ok paste Control v on the pre-comp pre-compose it again and paste one more time and then pre-comp i think for me the, the sweet spot is around three times using it because then the render times get a little too much for me but you guys can go ahead and use more if you guys want that more dramatic effect and this is what we have so far let's get right into the next one for this next effect it's called hollow matrix i'm gonna put deep glow on this i don't like the glow on it close it down i'm gonna go to the effects tab and i'm gonna turn off static interference ghost color separation and that's about it it's the only ones i don't like it's like a crt and to get that more crt look we can add optics and we could change the field of view up a bit and we can go ahead and go on go to the deep glow and turn down the radius a little bit and scale it up little bit and it gives it that nice little flicker effect too and to make it look less bland i'm gonna put you guys on i made a tutorial on this but i'm gonna show you guys anyways again we're gonna put on turbulence displace and we're gonna click on the evolution options alt click on the stopwatch for random seed and then we're gonna write time and then the little star and then we're gonna click on nine and then we're gonna click somewhere else and then it should close it off and we're gonna mess mess around with these size options and the amount we're gonna turn down the amount to like around eight to ten and we're gonna put the size to around like the 30-ish range. But yeah, I use this all the time. All right, the next effect that I really like is the VHS text. And you guys can do this by following the video I made on the VHS. I'll leave it on the screen and you guys can go check that out. It's on my channel. Another text effect that I really love is glitchify and you guys can get these really cool glitches by playing around with this plugin and it'll make the text like super distorted and weird and look like crazy let's go on to the next effect i already made a video on this but i'm gonna show you guys anyways it's s underscore extra flux i use this all the time it's one of my favorites we're gonna click on mask from layer and we're gonna click on the text and then we're gonna put down the frequency a little bit so we can see it more increase or decrease or increase depending on how you want it but we're gonna change the um, the color of it i'm gonna change it to like purple and then i'm gonna put like deep glow on it and just look at that dude i don't know what to tell you man it's just crazy it like changes all right for this next effect we're just gonna play around with the scale i'm gonna go back to the pre-comp and i'm gonna press s on the keyboard and i'm gonna unchain this right here click on this little button and we're going to press on the stopwatch and we're gonna drag the keyframe to the end or actually i'm gonna do this for another one press s on the keyboard click on stopwatch unchain it and now we're gonna move the keyframe all the way to the right and now for this effect we're gonna um, play around with these scale values so for example i'm gonna stretch it out horizontally and then i'm gonna move forward like two frames and then put it back to normal or a little bit over 100 and we're gonna go ahead and easy ease everything click on toggle switches and modes and click on motion blur and so we can have something that looks like this like boom Boom. 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 But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.